When you're trying to achieve your goals in life, does it often feel like a struggle? Like you're always fighting against yourself? Like you're doing things that you know you should be doing, or you're trying to get yourself to do those things, but deep down you don't really want to do those things, but you just feel like that's what you have to do in order to be successful? Do you ever feel that way? If so, in today's episode, I want to share with you what I believe to be a much easier way to achieve some of your biggest goals in life and how to really enjoy the process of achieving those goals so that it doesn't feel like a stressful thing, so that it doesn't feel like this enormous effort in your life. And this is something that I recently realized, and I realized that I had been placing so many shoulds on myself. I had been comparing myself to all these other people, looking at what they're doing to achieve success in their lives, and then thinking that I have to do something similar to that in order to be successful, in order to stand out amongst the crowd, in order to be different and unique. I had to uh, somehow do something out of the ordinary, do something crazy, or uh, for example, like making these videos on YouTube I thought for a little while, I thought that I have to do all this like fancy editing and B-roll clips and like do some, some, something different rather than just sitting here talking, right? And it felt like this, there was so much resistance to doing that because that's just not me. It's just not my style. I would really just rather sit here and talk. I feel like I have valuable things to say and I think I can give value to people and I don't think now at least, I don't think that I need to do any fancy editing or uh, try to be someone that I'm not, try to put uh, a mask of some kind on or put some fancy display on to keep people's attention. I don't really feel the need to do that anymore. And let me tell you, the weight that has been lifted off my shoulders is tremendous. I feel so much more at ease now. I feel like I can just sit here and talk to you like a real person one-to-one and just speak my mind and I feel like that's good enough and it is good enough that's what I want to share with you I want to make sure you realize that just being you and doing what comes easy to you what comes natural to you that is enough for you to be successful in this world especially with the internet with technology If you just literally be yourself and share who you really are, even if that's far from perfect in your mind, even if you're still a work in progress, even if you're still learning, even if you still make mistakes, you know what? People relate to that. People want real in this world. I think a lot of people are getting sick of being lied to or being misled. They're sick of the flashy advertising and all this hyped up stuff. You know, people really want realness they want authenticity they want to see the real you they want to see the real journey because they relate to that so if you've been thinking that you have to like fake it until you make it or be someone you're not in order to be successful i'm here to tell you that that's that's really not true and in fact you'll probably hold yourself back by trying to do that because when you when you're not authentic when you're not the real you when you're not expressing your true self, people feel that on an energetic level, on a subconscious level. People can tell, even by your voice when you're speaking. You can tell if someone is authentic, or if they're honest, if they're trustworthy, right? So you have to be okay with being imperfect, you know, being flawed, making mistakes, and just putting the real you out into the world. If there's something you're interested in and that you want to pursue, but maybe it's something that's very unique and and different, or it's weird, some people won't relate to it, your family might ridic- ridicule you you for going down that path, whatever it is that other people around you might not understand, If you let the opinions and expectations of others control what path you go down and you live live an inauthentic life because of that, you're always going to be unhappy. And I've been there. I've done that. I know what it's like to try to be someone you're not just to please the people around you. It's not a fun way to live. And so many people in this world I see just taking the path that everyone else is and following the crowd and they don't want to stand out or be different or be weird, you know, they just, they just want to be accepted. But being accepted at the cost of your own 
authenticity and freedom and your truth is just a recipe for misery. And it's, it's never going to fulfill you. And so what I've come to see in recent years is that true peace of mind can only come when we're living a truly authentic life, when we're true to ourself, even if that means taking a difficult path, even if that means not being accepted by everyone around you, even if that means being misunderstood. As long as you're true to yourself, you'll have peace of mind. But if you're not true to yourself and you're just doing what everyone else expects of you or what society expects you to do, what your family wants you to do, if you're doing things just to fit in and be accepted by those around you, then you may get acceptance from other people, but you won't have peace of mind. You won't be truly happy if you live your life for acceptance, for approval from others. You know, even me making these videos... If I was making these videos to try to please everyone in the world, to try to get acceptance from you, to try to get you to like me, it would be a totally different energy that I'd be giving off. I'd be giving off this needy sort of energy. Like, I need you to like this video. I need you to like what I'm saying. Please subscribe to my channel. Please like this video. It, it's a totally different energy, and a lot of people wouldn't resonate if I was coming off in that way. And I definitely have come off that way in the past, uh, I cringe sometimes thinking of like how I was in the past because it was it was fake. It was inauthentic. It wasn't the real me. And so I'm a work in progress just like everyone else. And this is something that I'm practicing, uh, being more authentic, being more true to myself, doing things that are in alignment with my, my truth, what I really want to do, not just doing things because I think I should do them, because I see other people doing that, and now I think I need to do that too in order to be successful. What if we could all be extremely successful in our life just by being ourselves? What if that was all that was really required? Just to be truly authentic, be the real you, and just pursue that path of being real, being authentic, being true to your own desires, and not apologizing for being the way you are. And just letting that authenticity shine through. You'd be surprised at how magnetic that is. You know, when you're, when you're really your true self, people resonate with it. They like it. Um, even if it's, even if it's imperfect, even if you have character flaws and things that are really weird about you, there are so many people out there that would be like, man, I want to be like that. Like I, even if they're not, even if they don't necessarily like that aspect of you, they will still respect and admire you just for having the courage to be you. You know, that's why we resonate with certain people. Uh, someone comes to mind is uh, Gary V, Gary Vaynerchuk. You've probably seen him before. Maybe he's pretty popular nowadays, but people resonate with Gary V not necessarily because they are like him, not necessarily because they have the same personality type as Gary V or they even agree with everything he says, but they like him because he doesn't care what people think, and he just says what's on his mind. He doesn't apologize for being himself. He's just totally authentic and true to himself and true to his own opinions and beliefs, and he expresses it without apology, and he has that confidence to be himself. And that is magnetic. That's why so many people are drawn to him, because he's not scared to be himself. And secretly, everyone wants that. Everyone wants the ability to have that, that, that freedom of expression, right? Everyone is seeking that deep down. Everyone just wants to, to be free, to be able to be themselves and not be judged for it, not be ridic ridiculed for it. And because everyone wants that on a deep level, when you portray that in your life, people want to be around you. People want to follow you. People want to buy from you if you're starting a business or whatever. It's, 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 uh, it's what produces that, that trust factor. When you're authentic, people know that they can trust you because they know you're not trying to deceive them. You're not putting on a mask. You're not being one person one day and another person the next. They, they feel that in you. And it's sometimes it's just on an energetic or a subconscious level, but it's there. People can feel it. And so basically just what I want to say today is that you will be far more successful in life if you just follow the path of 
what brings you the most joy and fulfillment. Follow the easy path. Not that it's always going to be easy because you're going to be coming up against your own self-doubt and mental barriers and stuff, but do things. When I say easy, what I really mean is do what feels right to you. Even if it's challenging, you know deep down that it's right, right? It feels right. It feels right in your heart and soul. And even if that what feels right to you, even if that is like challenging because it's going against the grain and maybe not everyone likes it, not everyone approves of it, not everyone accepts you for that. Even if it's challenging in that way, on a soul level, you know it's right. And so that is what you should follow. Not what everyone else is doing, what everyone tells you you should do. Uh, You got to stop comparing yourself to other people and thinking that you have to do things a certain way. Because there are so many people in this world that are successful for very different things, you know? Some people are really successful because they're really loud and extroverted, and they, they know how to, how to get attention, right? And other people are really successful because they're very introspective, and they're, they're calm. They have a more calm energy to them, and some people resonate with that energy. Some people resonate with Uh, someone who's very artistic, someone who produces art of some kind. Some people resonate with writers, with intellectuals, with scientists, with musicians, with whatever it is. I mean, there are countless different things you could do in life, and you'd be surprised at how successful you could be in like the weirdest of niches just because it's authentic to you. And when it's authentic to you, you can do it with joy. You can do it with confidence. You can do it happily. And that happy energy is magnetic and it will attract success to you. If you just have the courage to go down that path without apology and to, to stop straying from what feels right, just because your mind tells you that maybe it's not good enough. Maybe I need to do this or do that. Maybe if you just did what felt easy and natural and authentic to you, maybe that is enough to be massively successful in your life. And I want to challenge you to just take that perspective for a while and start doing the things that feel easy, that feel natural, the things you really want to do. Um, and stop doing things just because you think you need to do them because someone else told you that that's the path you should take. Start doing what feels easy and see what that brings. And I think you'll be surprised at how much success comes to you when you just have the courage to be you. So that's it for today's episode. If you liked it, leave it a thumbs up, uh, subscribe to the channel if you want more videos like this, and I'll talk to you in the next one. Peace.